Hello and welcome back to Fallout 3 with your story, Lord of the Mad. Hi, Lord of Crosses, Army Jeff Spiffering. Never seen you around. Level 22, Boxes Man, good to swag it to this dirt team and all around neutral guy. Stranger. I want to speak to too. Vance first because. You got the cash, I got the time. No, you, you think kinky thief things though. I'm not sure I'm into that. Well, actually, I probably am, but uh, that's beyond the point. Beside the point, even. Hello, Vance. Welcome, welcome to our home. My people call me Vance. I lead this group of weary travelers and outcasts who need a home. And to what do I owe the pleasure of your visit? This place is very different from any of the others that I've seen. What you see before you is the last bastion of hope. For the downtrodden and misunderstood, it is a sanctuary for the oppressed and a beacon of faith for the tyrannized. We are the remnants of society, cast aside like the clean-picked bones of a hunter's feast. I led my flock beneath the sun-baked sands of the wasteland to keep them safe and teach them my ways. Men of science would call us cannibals, eaters of human flesh, Society labels us as monsters, demons, and the unclean. What do you mean? Humans call for our extermination or reform. Reforming implies something is wrong with us and needs to be eliminated. I think of my teachings as more of an improvement, a way to transcend our cannibalistic nature. If I accept that you're no longer cannibals, what do I call you? Your open-mindedness is very rare for a human. I find that fascinating. Allow me to bolster your insight with a lesson in objectivity. I say we are no longer cannibal, only consuming the blood of our prey. What would that make us in your eyes? I don't have a time for games, Vance. Actually, I do. I'm playing a game right now. <laughs> I think you're a bunch of creepy weirdos. I don't want to offend him, so no idea. Then that is a mystery you will have to solve on your own. In ceremony, each member of the family must speak one of the laws. It is theirs to remember and to enforce. Perhaps from these laws you can discover what we are. Return to me when you are ready. Interesting, um... It's really dark here. Oh, I don't have that high level of quick clocking anyway. This is what I've become. Sneaking around in a vampire lair and stealing all their shit. But it's okay, because they don't mind. As long as you don't get caught. And I do not intend to get caught. So, this will also help me become neutral again, which is always useful. I don't generally enjoy being good at your shoes all that much. Stop detecting me. Maybe if I stood still here. Best for these people. If it wasn't for you, they'd be Vance, the stop woods. looking for me. Or dead. Looking at me. You always have had a knack for making me feel better. It's the least I can do, Vance. You did so much and really God damn it. Guess I could sneak around and find Ian, but I kinda want to deal with the family. All of them. Hello, Justin. I thought I knew everyone in the family, but I don't recognize you. You must be one of Vance's new initiates. My name's Justin. I'm pretty new here myself. Uh, please help me understand your laws. Well, Vance makes each of us remember a rule. And when we all gather in the common area, we have to say it out loud. Kind of weird. So, my law is the fourth one. Seek not the sun's light, 
Embrace only the shadows. This is our refuge. Because they fancy themselves vampires. What is this place? And these vampires don't think they glitter. Well, Vance told me that this place was called Moresti. It was named after some town way across the ocean in a place called Romania. Tell me about the family. It's a great way to get back at those assholes out there who think we're losers. If it wasn't for Vance, I'd still be getting the crap beat out of me by those guards in Rivet City. I'm looking for Ian West. Have you seen him? Ian? What do you want from him? No, I don't have... I can't get this. I'd never thought oh. of it that way. I suppose he should get a chance to talk to someone like you. Here's the password to his isolation area. Just please don't mention my name to Vance about this. Anything else you can tell me about the invest? No, just that Vance said he isn't to be disturbed while he's in meditation. Okay. He's needed at home. His family's dead. Yes, I know. He told me. Surprised? Well, Ian was there when it happened and did nothing to stop it. If you ask yourself why, the answer is obvious. He belongs with us here. He's one of us. Don't deny him his rightful home. Okay, okay. Bye. I understand. Goodbye. I can't believe that the 70% chance actually worked in my advantage. Hi. Well, well. I haven't had a customer in a while. Last one I had was a bit chewy. Know what I mean? Please help me understand your laws. When Vance stands on that balcony and starts mouthing off like some kind of preacher, it makes me want to puke. But if I want to keep this place stocked, I gotta have his permission. So I learned his fifth law. Kill not our kindred. Slay only the enemy. This is our justice. Pretty silly if you ask me. What is this place? This place is my place of business. You want to buy something, then buy. If you want to flap your lips, take a hike. Tell me about the family. We're the last people you want to mess with. That's for damn sure. Can I murder them all? Uh, can I see what you have for sale? Come back and see me when I'm minding the store. You better bring caps. There's no handouts to be had around here. Um, yeah. Say it ain't so. Didn't say? Okay. Hello, Brianna. Well, well, I'm surprised you don't know me. I'm Brianna. I take care of the men around here. Well, unmarried ones, anyway. Please help me understand your laws. When we all gather in the common area, Vance gives his speeches, and then we each have, like, a law to say. Mine is... Bear not the child, welcome only the exile. This is our fate. Kind of cool, huh? Pretty much means no family other than the family. No children of their own. Okay, cool. What is this place? It's the last place I ever expected to end up. I mean, look at this place. It's so dark and dingy. What this place needs is a lady's touch. But don't tell Vance I said that. Then we the family. How about just the coolest gang this side of the U.S.? As long as we listen to Vance's rules and listen to his stuff, he lets us do pretty much whatever we want. Cool. I have to go now. Bye, sweetie. Bye. Hello. I don't think I've met you yet. The name's Alan. What did you want? Please help me understand your laws. Oh, wait. Vance told me I was supposed to say something special when asked that, from his teachings. Oh, right. The third law is feed not for pleasure, partake only to nourish. This is our dignity. Whew, almost forgot it again. <laughs> what is this place? Right now I call this place home. The only home that's ever let me stay with my problems. And build the family. Well, anyone that Vance takes in because of their special problems can be part of the family. Can I actually have special problems like that? I have to go now. Guess I'll see you around. Can I? 
Can I do that? Slurpy, slurpy. Nom, nom, nom. I can. Cool. Doesn't do much, though. Maybe it does more to those who have embraced the idea. Can I access this? Why? The five laws of the family. The first law. Feast not on the flesh, consume only the blood. This is our strength. We do not eat the flesh of those we kill for food. We will only drink of their blood and leave the body intact. The consumption of flesh is filthy and unclean. This action is what causes the humans to treat us like animals. We are not animals, we are the family. We are not the child, we come home with the oxen. This is our fate, because we carry the stain of our past in our bodies. We can never let it pass to our offspring, who will turn it who would in turn carry out those foul actions beginning the cycle anew. The family must seek the wasteland for others of its kind in order to maintain itself. That is her fate. Okay, wait, wait. How, did I, how would I have gone back otherwise? The third law. Feed not for pleasure, but take only to nourish this is our dignity. We only kill the humans when we are hungry or when we must defend ourselves. We never hunt for sport or pleasure. We do not prey on children, for they are not yet tainted by society's view of us. The family will not tolerate murder. For flow, seek not the sun's light. Embrace only the shadows. This is our refuge, because we are creatures of the night. We must not set a foot. But not a foot in daylight. That also works, because single foot. We move silently across the ground, only under the watchful eye of the moon above. At the rising of the sun, we must seek the embrace of the shadows and never again gaze at its brilliance. The family seeks the darks as its refuge. Kill not our kindred, slay only the enemy, this is our justice. Above all, no member of the family will ever take the life of another member without the consent of the current leader. Anyone disobeying this action, the most heinous of all our crimes, will be exiled from this place forever. We must not let our in own inner demons cause us to fight among ourselves. We number only the few and we cannot risk extinction. But there was another thing. Feeding crowns. There, these are perilous times for the family, we must feed, but the wasteland is a dangerous place. The only way to feed without massive loss of life is by getting close to the smaller human settlements. We will therefore use cunning and stealth to achieve our goals. No one is to forcibly enter any of their homes, we must keep our actions civilized. This is the only thing keeping us from being the animals they claim us to be. The Arifu incident. I do not want an incident like this happening ever again. I was very clear that we are not to represent ourselves in a hostile way. The killing of the town's Brahmin was enacted was both unnecessary and potentially damage to my work damaging to my work. I'm dealing with a very delicate situation in this town and down and I will not have it undermined by actions of revenge on humankind. A time will come, I promise you. Interesting. Will you tell me the first law? You wish to speak to me again? What is this place? You are standing inside Maresti, the home of the family. This is our sanctuary from the outside world. It is a refuge for those society labels as outcasts. Tell me about the family. The family has become our moniker because that is exactly what we are. Related by blood. Even if all of us look different on the outside, we all have had the same vice infesting our insides. But now, through my teachings, these subjugated people have come together and formed a bond stronger than mere friendship. I think I finally understand what the people are. Indeed. Tell me what you've learned from the laws. What do you think we are? Your vampires, or at least you follow their fiction and traditions. Do you think I believe I can turn into a bat and fly away? Of course not. Do I cast my image in a mirror? Absolutely. Now, ask me if I believe these individuals from every corner of the wasteland need me to give them a sense of purpose and identity. I have shown these people the ways of the vampire. I've provided them shelter, organization, and a sense of belonging.
You do this by teaching them that they are mythical beings. Now you disappoint me. You need to open your mind and think for a moment before you pass judgment. I have reigned in their cravings and taught them to eat not of the flesh, but to drink of the blood. Most importantly, they have a family. A place where their quirks are tolerated and understood. Okay. I've been searching for a young man named Ian Mest. Ah, yes. My newest charge. What would you want with him? I have a letter for him from his sister. Then a part of his human family still remains? Even more of a reason he needs to remain in isolation. Ian is at a critical moment in his life right now. After all that occurred in Erafu, he is scared and confused. It would be ill-advised for me to allow you to speak to him while he decides what he wants to do. Wait a minute, what happened to him? Ian's hunger for flesh overwhelmed him. It drove him to kill his parents. Because of my intervention that night, he stopped just short of being lost forever to his cravings for flesh. Are you telling me that Ian was trying to become a cannibal? I am telling you, he will no longer be labeled as such. He has become one of us, a member of the family. The hunger that drives us must be kept in check. It is one of the most difficult things to teach. Ian lost control because no one was around to guide him. His own family was alien to him. This letter is all Ian has left of his old life. Allow me to give it to him. No. It would not be right to disturb him in this time of meditation. I am sorry, but I cannot allow it. Oh well. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.